Hi and welcome in this series of video named Getting Started with Prosim Plus. Prosim Plus is a software edited by the Prosim company dedicated to industrial processes, simulation and steady state operation. The topic of this first video will be the software graphical user interface. So to have access to all the functions of the simulator, first we have to create a new simulation file. To do so, I will click on the new button. Here you can see a project synopsis window appearing, where you can input a title, a subject and other, and maybe some comments about your simulation. Here is the general graphical user interface of Prosim Plus. On the top, you can see a menu bar. This menu bar and all the sub-menus will allow you to access all the functions and features of the simulator. Below, you can find two shortcut bars, where you can have a quick access to all the usual functions of the simulator. First, we have some file management tools with a little tab where you can find the last simulations opened. You have here some printer setup and page setting tools, some object management tools, copy, past, cut, delete, here you have all the buttons and functions directly related to the simulation. We will come back to these functions and buttons in the next videos. Here you can find some drawing and imaging features. And at the end, some tools to manage the view of the objects. With here some layer management tools. Here some alignment tools. And here some rotate, flipping and inversion tools. On the left, you can see the Prosim Plus Unit Operation Library. One click on the category will expand or collapse the category. So you can have access to all the unit operations. Here you can see a view toolbar where you will be able to manage and to switch between several views of your flow sheet and sub flow sheets. At the bottom, you can see the zoom bar, where you can manage the zoom of your flow sheet with a button to adjust the flow sheet to the screen. On the center, of course, the flow sheeting zone. In this zone, you will be able to draw the model of your process to do your simulation. This video is now over. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to watch the other videos available on our YouTube channel.